Hey guys, it's Queen Fang. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are getting ready for the weekend. What? It's Friday and it's my day off and I'm having a blast doing, you know, minimal. <laughs> I'm, um, what? I was watching movies all day. Um, well, a couple movies today. Uh, Netflixing it up. I was, uh, chilling, you know, hanging out. And after this commentary, I will be making brownies. I am super duper ready for some brownies. And I gotta go buy vanilla ice cream. It's gonna be like gourmet snack time after this. I am really ready. Um, <laughs> but before that, I want to make this quick commentary because I have time. Yay. And it's a serious topic I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Um, and the title of this video is are you too big for your britches you know and the, that expression um britches means underwear so it means are you too cool for your underwear you know like you you think you're all that in a bag of doritos like why um and another expression that says the same thing is what you think your doo-doo don't stink and that cracks me up I'm even like i was cracking up the first time i heard that i was like ew but it like makes sense like you just think you're all that you're so prideful you're way too proud you know not the good proud it's like you think you yourself are better than someone else for whatever reason sometimes there's no reason at all and usually that happens um like middle schoolish or high schoolish and like a particular situation for me was uh i was a freshman in high school and this kid who was uh he was slower than the other kids like he was in different classes than the rest of us and there was nothing wrong he was like harmless you know he didn't like bother he, he wouldn't like kill me to, it wouldn't kill me to talk to him but it was so annoying he was annoying to me because he would say my name like my full name and he would go hi kimberly hi kimberly hi kimberly like he would say it until i said hi to him like you know like wow I was like, oh my goodness, hi, you know, just hi. <laughs> um, but I realized I was just being rude to him. I thought he was it was uncool for me to speak to him. And um, I realized, like, you know, afterward that that's a bad thing. You know, honestly, it didn't take me very long to realize it. He stopped saying hi to me like sophomore year. I think he was trying to, I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, man, that's messed up of me just to um, treat him that way because I was, you know, arrogant at that point in time. And so, in this situation, because honestly, I was like, I never want to deal with that again. I, I don't want to think that way about someone. I don't want anyone to think that way about me. Like, they're just too cool to speak to me and no one, like, we both don't know why. <laughs> you know, or whatever your reason why is, it's not good enough. You know, like, I don't, I don't get it. Um, and in this situation, it happened a few months ago. I was like, oh my goodness, I could not believe, like, what just happened right there. So, I was speaking to someone and this person asked me how I was, you know, and then in turn to be polite you ask them how they are and it turns out they weren't doing very well at that particular time uh they were like under a lot of stress and they were very emotional and all this stuff was going on with them and i was like man that's that's not fun i'm sorry you got to go through that that must be very hard for you and just really down like you know and sometimes when you're like that you really can't see a way out or a way to feel better and i was like man i'm sorry you know that's not cool and so usually at this point in time i give someone a hug you know but for some reason i was so apprehensive and like in my head i'm like no i'm not gonna hug this person and when i said that to myself i was like that's not right like i really was like oh my goodness i can't believe i made that decision but i was fighting myself i'm like uh, what do i want to do what do, what do i want to do and i couldn't believe it like in that split second decision i was like kim what are you thinking you know like if the shoe was on the other foot you know you wouldn't like that girl you know like you gotta be kidding you and so toward the end of the conversation, I wound up being like, you know, let's, let me just humble out because I'm nothing special. And I gave this person a hug and I was like, I hope you feel better. And they were really grateful and like encouraged by that. They're like, thank you, you know? And, and that just always shows that it's better to just be outgoing and giving to someone, even when you don't want to, because it benefits someone else and not just yourself. And also, you know, it's not good to think that you're too big for your britches or that your doo-doo don't stink, you know? And I just wanted to talk about that. And uh, ask you guys what situations you've had or if that's happened to you or if you've done that to someone else. Because um, I see a lot of it right now. And honestly, there's no, ev there's never a good reason for why you shouldn't be giving to someone. Or you should, like, there's never a good reason why you should think you're cooler than someone. You know what I'm saying? There's never a good reason. Um, and that was no exception either. Actually, I gave the person a hug and was like, let me, I gotta repent. You know, I can't do that anymore. I can't can't think that way and that was like honestly one of my first times ever having to deal with that in my 20s like i couldn't believe it <laughs> i was like wow 
I mean, I deal with this again, but situations always pop up and you always got to just make sure that you're making the right choices. But yeah, that's what, that's what I want to talk about today. I know it's a bit of a serious topic, but you know, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, cause that, honestly, that, that's everywhere nowadays. And on YouTube too, like there's a YouTuber whose name rhymes with J Frop. And <laughs> this person said that they won't do dual comms with other YouTubers because they won't be on their same level. And I couldn't believe it. I was so floored. I was like, wow, how arrogant are you? Do you not realize getting popular on YouTube is luck? How, how could you think that you're better than someone else because of the numbers you get? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're still a human being. You still go to school. You still you still go to the bathroom. You're like, you're human. Why would you ever put yourself in a different category from someone else, you know? It's not cool. But, I don't know. We're all adults here. We gotta grow up. <laughs> But yep, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Bye.